Jessica. Thanks, Peggy. If you've had all you can take of the cold weather, how about a quick, inexpensive getaway to Orlando? Lucinda Hughes, otherwise known as the frugal socialite, is here now with some suggestions for that trip to Orlando. We both have our ears on right now. <laughs> so Orlando and Disney have really become a destination spot, not just for kids, but also adults. What are some great places to stay that could probably satisfy both those desires for the kids and the parents? Well, Orlando has become a really chic destination. Despite the ears. That's right. <laughs> I mean, it's just part of the package. When yeah. you go to Orlando, you go to Disney. I would suggest a few places. The Rosen Shingle Creek Resort is only about two years old. It has complete spa, beautiful facilities, very well landscaped, golf courses, a lot of things for the kids as well. Mm -hmm. One of my other favorite things is staying in a vacation home. Okay. There's nothing better than actually being in a gorgeous house that's got all the amenities. All-Star Vacation Homes in Orlando and Kissimmee has a beautiful array of homes for you, and they offer everything that you would get in a hotel. They even have a van called the Mobile Concierge that comes to the house and brings toys for the kids. They bring a personal chef if you want. You can have in-room massage. The house that I stayed in was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. There was a Bose movie theater Wow. Room. I mean, so... For me, I found that going home to the house was a part of the vacation. Mm -hmm. And on a rainy day, that can be great to have your own enclosed pool in the backyard. That's a good tip for a little luxury on, on a discount. Now, yes. Disney is constantly trying to evolve the brand and bring new products and new uh, locations, new things to do to market. What are they doing right now that's new for people maybe looking to take a trip? Well, 2009 is What Will You Celebrate? So if you're a new visitor to Disney, you get a nice button that says, you know, first time visitor. They also are celebrating birthdays. So if you go to Disney on your birthday, you actually get in free. Now that's a great discount. Now right that's there. a frugal tip. Yeah. The other things that are new at Disney is the new American Idol attraction. So if you think you can sing, you can actually <laughs> audition for the American Idol and you are on. As the visitor to the park, you go into the American Idol, you watch the show, you vote, and the winner of the finale show of the day will get a golden ticket to go to the front of the line for the real American Idol tryouts. That's amazing. So there's a lot of new things at Disney, and whether you're a kid or you're young at heart, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let's say you're going to Orlando, you're going to do the whole Disney experience, but maybe you want to do something outside as well. What other attractions are there in the area? Well. One thing about Orlando is that people can become really discouraged, especially if they're planning last minute. They don't realize that just 20 minutes up the road in Seminole County are great hotels, sometimes a lot less um, expensive mm -hmm. than you'd find in Orlando. Seminole is like the nature county. The Florida airboat, airboat rides mm -hmm. where you view crocodiles and alligators uh -huh. are there. Really great zoos. Also, if you go about 30 miles, I'm sorry, about 30 minutes down uh -huh. the road, Cocoa Beach. Well, that's a quick trip. It's a very quick trip. That is right outside of the Space Coast area, or it is the Space Coast area where you can go to the Kennedy Center and, and tour the complex. Uh -huh. But Cocoa Beach is really a family beach. There's a lot of things for kids to do. Even when it's extremely crowded, it seems like no one's there. So if people want some quick tips, some frugal tips, where should they go to find them? You should go to www.frugalsocialite.com, subscribe to my newsletter, and I'll send you more details about everything that I talked about today. Terrific. Well, we thank you so much for your tips today. And thank speaking you. about trips, what about your trips on the road? We're heading over to Angie for your traffic right now. Thank you, Kim. Are you ready for romance? Our next guest says you can find it at the homestead, the umstead, or instead of that, how about right here in Washington? She's Lucinda Hughes, otherwise known as the frugal socialite. And you can be frugal but still have a wonderful time. And you say, let's start at the homestead. Let's start at the homestead. The homestead is an incredible value. It's about four hours drive from D.C., mm -hmm. near Roanoke. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that's missing from the homestead. This is an outside shot of the resort. It's absolutely huge. 
There's no bad room. You don't have to worry about, you know, what view you have and this kind of thing. Valentine's Day is a perfect time to go to the homestead because it has all the trappings for romance. Do they do something special for this holiday? They do. There is a Valentine's package. However, all year they run an enchanted romance package. Oh. In the homestead, you can do everything. There's bowling, a movie theater, ice skating, mineral-fed pools, a full spa, huge amount of spa services. But I think the nicest thing about the homestead is the dining. Mm -hmm. In the main dining room, there is a, a live band every night. So you can get on the dance floor and do a little bit of polka, a little bit of waltz. <laughs> you know, it's old world charm for singles, families, and the kids get out there and dance. I like that they string out this romantic holiday over the entire year. Always a great value to go. They do. What's Umstead? The Umstead Hotel is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Many of us have driven through Raleigh, maybe gone to graduations, but never really visited there as a romantic weekend. I had one of the best weekends in Raleigh. Again, it's a great value because the economy is a little bit different in North Carolina, so your dollar goes farther. Mm -hmm. We're looking beautiful. We're looking at the back of the Umstead Hotel. It is a boutique hotel, won a lot of awards. This is the pool and the terrace area where you can dine. You can sit in front of the fireplace and have cocktails at night or during the day. Great, great place. Huge spa for the size of the hotel. I think one of the best things about the Umstead, Umstead is that it is a secret. Mm -hmm. It's very new. Um, it's not very crowded. Extremely elegant hotel. Great dining. And for Valentine's Day, you get a $100 credit toward dinner, plus champagne, uh, chocolate, and flowers. Wow, really trying to lure people there in this tough economy. Well, it may be so tough that people say, give me another option, and you say, instead of Homestead <laughs> and Umstead, staying home may be a good idea. You know, we undervalue our homes. We, we pay a lot of mortgage, a lot of rent, and then we run around all the time and we don't actually sit down. So I have a couple of options. Firstly, um, if you want to go out, opentable.com is a great way to look at all of the menus for Valentine's Day and, and quickly choose your time to go to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that Costco.com is one of the best values for delivering flowers. Costco. Costco.com. Okay. You don't have to be a member to order online, and they have, you know, roses, carnations, anything you're looking for. Another good option if you're staying at home is to go to stores like Whole Foods and get a gourmet meal and bring it in. Now, one year, uh, the person I was dating, who's now my husband, mm -hmm. he took that option. He went to Whole Foods. He got uh, beef tenderloin, asparagus, a, a stuffed potato, and great pastries, and served it up at home. And that said, he's the one. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he was definitely I kept into him. you. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great ideas. Homestead, Umstead, and Instead. And happy Valentine's Day to you. To you, too. Andrea. Thank you. Still to come on night. Welcome back to Nine News. You might find this hard to believe, but there are still some hot tickets available for inaugural parties. Listen to Hughes, otherwise known as the frugal socialite, is here now with details. Plus, she has some important information for parents getting ready to party. And good to see you again. I know you you've too, been Andrea. on the road traveling around. Always. All right. Well, people are just anxious to get their hands on tickets, but you say if you're going someplace as parents, there's something else you must consider first. That's right. You have the dress, you have the nails, what about the kids? Where are they? Mm -hmm. Well, the Child Center in Washington, D.C. at 202 Riggs Road Northeast is having extended drop-in daycare. Wow, because that is an issue. You're going to be out, at, along with getting a limo, where do you put your child? Where do you find daycare? That's right. So, uh, basically, Saturday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday, they're open until 1 a.m. Wow. $50 flat rate for children over two. 24 hours in advance is all they're asking for, and you can reach them online. And these are bonded so parents can feel secure about where they're leaving their children? It's a fully licensed daycare center that operates six days a week. And how many children can they accommodate? I'm not sure about the number, but they're staffed up and they're ready to help you enjoy your inaugural without the kids. All right, so that's something to think about. Now, talk about, okay, I'm not going out, it's too late, can't get my hands on tickets, and can't get childcare. You say you can do it in your home and on a frugal budget. 
this is frugally fabulous right here. <laughs> okay, good. so in order to have everyone be a part of the inaugural, uh, President-elect Obama and Biden have decided to make it very accessible. Mm -hmm. If you go to www.pick2009.org, you can register your own party wow. and then have people attend your event. To boot, you can get a live telecast of the inaugural so you feel like you're there. You're kidding. But here's the, the best part. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to have strangers at my home? Well, no. I mean, you can do it virtually, <laughs> oh, having okay. people oh, okay. support your cause. Oh. So whatever you're, you're doing as your volunteer service, you can um, put that on Pick 2009, and there you go. Wow. But for the party, why cook? Reggiano's Catering and Restaurant in Largo, Maryland is braced ready at your <laughs> beck and call. So let's look at what look we at have. This. Yes. For twenty dollars per person, you can host a party with uh, these braised short ribs and the Southern Love Cakes, which is a mixture of uh, hominy grits and, as you see, topped with shrimp and scallops. They're delicious. Beautiful. And then for the most frugal in the bunch, three dollars per person, you can have this platter that's just full of things. Mm -hmm. um, we've got wings, Little ribs, wings, shrimp. Um, looks like potato stuffed potatoes. Exactly. And um, the tortillas with uh, refried beans inside. That's right. And also this long sandwich yeah. feeds quite a few people. Again, My three dollars per person. They are taking reservations um, as little as three hours in advance. Wow. And then the canapes, they do all of that as well. Absolutely. All right. Now, you do want to still try and get out and do the fabulous party. Are there tickets still available somewhere? There are still tickets available. Little known fact that a lot of promoters are really having a problem moving these tickets. There's so many venues and new parties every day. Right. So I People want to tell you that they won't be able to drive that's anywhere. That's right. That's <laughs> right. And so the parties are spread out from D.C. to Maryland to Chantilly. There's something for everyone. Some of the hottest parties are the D.C. Presidential Inaugural Gala. That one's taking place uh, Monday night, 8 to midnight. Um, the OJs are their big entertainment. And this is the one that's been endorsed and supported by the local D.C. Democratic officials mm -hmm. who are in office right now. Is that an expensive ticket? It's half price almost now. It's wow. only $144 per person. Such a deal. That is a deal. <laughs> and the proceeds go to D.C. vote to make D.C. the new state. Exactly. Another hot ticket is the People's Inaugural Ball. This one is really for anyone who put in the effort and the time for change. This is at uh, 801 K Street, the old DC Museum. Three nights of fun. They're kicking it old school on Friday with DJ Cool and Dougie Fresh. So that's a hot ticket as well. And then, if you're on the Maryland side or you want to be a part of the largest inaugural in history, right. the Africa and International Friends Ball at the Gaylord is selling out the whole resort. Wow. They're expecting about 17,000 people. Oh, my. <laughs> and some of the headliners include um, Patti LaBelle, Aretha Franklin, Maxi Priest. You can't go wrong with that. And that's www.pgpick.org. That's not bad. There's so many more. I got such a, a large well, response. Well, give us one more, just one more, before we head on over to Angie. Okay, one more. Uh, what can I think of? Um, but OJ's I don't know, and you Aretha Franklin. Me. Well, that's okay. That's still pretty good. But I'll tell you how you, you get one more. Get, how do we get one more? You can log on to www.frugalsocialite.com. I will be sending out information to anyone who logs in, and I'd love to help you get your inaugural on. All right, and we'll help you get to that website even faster. Just go to wusa9.com, and we have a link for you at info to go Lucinda, always good to have you here. Thank you. And uh, happy inaugural weekend. I plan to have a great time. I bet. In reality, you can do it virtually, and if you do it virtually, you won't even have any traffic problems. But for those of you <laughs> heading out right now, here's Angie with an update. Then uh, there we go. By uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we cool it down, and uh, temperatures on Saturday in the upper 40s. I want to remind you to sign up for our Fox 5 weather app if you haven't done so yet. Uh, it's absolutely free. You can get it at the Apple Store or... Uh, if you got your droid, go to Marketplace. And again, the Fox 5 Weather app, getting great reviews. If you got any suggestions, send them in, and we'll try to make it better and better. But uh, generally, great, uh, great app to have here with a nice day expected. All right, uh, Sarah, I'm going to toss it over to you. All right, Tucker, thank you.
Well, if you are looking to save a lot of money, right now is a great time to take advantage of some clearance sales that are going on. Those once or twice a year deep discounts on clothes and home goods that can really save you a ton of money. The frugal socialite Lucinda Anderson Hughes joins us now with more on that. She's also armed with a lot of cool ideas for spending Valentine's Day with your sweetie. And it's really going to be kind of easy on your wallet as well at the same time. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you Good so much for coming again. in. You know, it's interesting because end of the winter sales, normally you think by this time everything's picked over. But with it being so warm out, I found it interesting. There's still a lot of boots out there, lots of clothing, things that are still out there right now. Every year, this is the time where I really pop my wardrobe because mm -hmm. things are so inexpensive. I can work the heck out of IKEA. Um, if you need home goods, IKEA has champagne glasses lots of times for as little as a quarter. Um, the larger retailers like Nordstrom are just coming off of their half yearly sales and again they don't do clearance at Nordstrom it's an upscale mm -hmm. store now's a time where you can find a three hundred dollar jacket or something like that for under one hundred I have taken advantage of those and I will agree there are some pretty good discounts out there yeah maybe it's a good time to find something maybe to wear for Valentine's Day right now if there's some steep discounts on clothing because you've got some ideas about some great places to go unique ideas for Valentine's Day what are your top ones well I'm all about trying something new all the time you have to keep the spark in your relationship so what about taking an elemental journey what is that about Elemental Journey is at Element Spa in New Jersey at the Minerals Hotel. It is the sexiest thing that I've ever done. You go you say to the, spa, that's all I need to know. Oh, well, exactly. <laughs> you know, spa is very relaxing. But this is something designed for you and your sweetie. Mm -hmm. You go through a series of rooms. The, in the first room, you have a side-by-side -side couple massage. Then you go into another room that's a huge oasis. It's like an oversized hot tub filled with flowers and things of this nature. Sounds gorgeous. Oh, look Here at that. Here it is. They oh, knock on the door, and that's your little warning that you're moving to the next room. In the next room, you actually have paint, and you paint each other with these oh great body paints <laughs> that are actually good for your skin. Okay. So it's like you're an artist with your loved one, and you're making all kinds of patterns on their body. Oh, then in the next room... journeys on yes, the elemental exactly. journey. <laughs> You know, it's a private room, so whatever. All but right. you go to the next room, and there's water cascading from everywhere to wash off all of the, the mud or the paint, as okay. they call it. And lastly, you end with champagne and chocolates, things like that. Nice. It looks beautiful. It's the best experience I've done in and that's you know, New Jersey. Years. That's, that's New Jersey. in New Jersey. A little closer to home, we have uh, something in Alexandria that maybe a hidden little gem people don't know about. Alexandria is a gym. Yes, you is. have Old Town, it's right next door to Arlington, and they're really putting together their entertainment scene. So the Carlisle Club mm -hmm. is just like going to the Cotton Club that you've seen in many 1940s movies. They have the big bands, people dress up. Dressing up is so mm -hmm. out of fashion, but it's great to actually put on a nice cocktail dress, have a full gourmet dinner. Just have fun with it. It yeah. is. Um, I went to see a tribute to Frank Sinatra and didn't realize how many of his songs I actually knew. I was so encouraged to see people in their 20s mixing in with people who were seniors, waltzing and just having a great time. All right. And, and another um, idea, a hot air balloon ride. This is something I think seems very romantic and we can kind of do it pretty close to home. Charlottesville is a mecca for a lot of things. Vineyards, um, University of Virginia, everything Monticello. The Boar's Head Inn is one of the premier resorts there. They just had a huge renovation. They're rolling out many of their buildings right now with new rooms. So it's like you're sleeping in a brand new hotel. Real, real quick, because we're almost out of time. Sure. Uh, two, your last two, uh, number four, um, and then, uh, some stuff to do in Annapolis. In Annapolis, at Zachary Jewelers, they're running this great Valentine's Day special. If you buy $1,000 worth of jewelry, you actually end up with a weekend B&B &B stay, mm -hmm. um, private chef meal for two, and if you're thinking about popping the question, why not go to Zachary's, get the mm -hmm. ring, run over to the Annapolis Wedding okay. Chapel, and do the wedding. All right, when the last one I'll just mention real quick yeah, is some jazz lounges um, that are at Zango and another one, Melody Tavern in Arlington, yes. uh, which we, of course, do have this information on our website as well. You can go there and check it out on myfoxtc.com. Lucinda Anderson, thanks so much for coming in. We always Thank appreciate you. it. It's great ideas.
Also go to frugalsocialite.com, look okay. at my blog, all the information will be there. All right, thank you. Tony, hey. over to you. A little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. I'm ordering my body, body pink paint. colors, yes. All right, thank you both. Uh, all right, a major shakeup on the X Factor coming up.